Today on Four Eyes, we're making go, go, go. Ah! a bed. You know, it's pretty crazy when you think about the relationship we humans have with our beds. You'll spend about a third of your life in bed. You were conceived in a bed, you were born in a bed, and in all likelihood, you'll die in a bed. Now, with those words of inspiration, who's ready to go build something? All right, Dolores, that's my wife. Soak it in for the next couple minutes, because this is the first and last time you're going to see me make a bed. Get it? I could try to come up with a joke here about making beds, but there's no way I could ever come up with anything better than one of my favorite comedians, Jim Gaffigan, so I'll just leave it to him. I like to think I'm a pretty witty guy, but I'm not that good. Plus, I'm actually more of a slip-on guy anyway. So this is going to be a bed for our son. He's about three and a half years old. Actually, and feet tall now that I think about it. At least at the time I'm recording this. It's only a twin, but we're hoping we can get a good several years out of it. Now this isn't my first trip to the rodeo. I actually built a really similar bed for our room a few months back. In building that bed, I only had one major regret, and that was using that edge banding iron-on stuff to cover the edge of the plywood. I don't have anything against the stuff, I just don't personally enjoy using it. I feel like the quality of the edge I get is never that great. By the way, I'm not blaming the product, I'm blaming myself. Also, to be honest, the look of the edge of plywood doesn't always bug me that much. It really doesn't bug me at all in this sort of application. In fact, I'll even go a step further and say sometimes I think it looks good. Sometimes I even think about having a room where all the furniture is made out of plywood where the edges aren't treated at all. Maybe that's just the lazy guy inside of me coming out. Anyway, I'm sure I'll talk more about plywood in a later video, so I'll just leave it at that for now. I've got a lot to say though. Just kidding. So yeah, with this build I wanted it to be sort of quick and dirty. All the joints are butt joints. I even use screws in a lot of the inconspicuous spots. It's a lot less fine woodworking and more just woodworking that's, well, it's fine. Just want to take a second to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It's a small but steadily growing community, and I couldn't be more appreciative of them. And within that community, special thanks goes out to Simon, Kevin, Mirko, Matt, Tobias, DraxLP, and Brandon. Hope I said all your names correctly. If you want to learn more about how you can support the show too, just follow the link in the description. For me, this is another one of those utility projects. Most of my decisions in designing this had to do with wanting to have lots of storage and wanting to make something that could have a sort of afterlife, where if we ever stop using it as a bed, it can still be useful in some way. It's basically a modular platform that a bed can sit on top of. It's made up of three boxes. Two of the boxes are 56 inches long and 20 inches deep. And the other one is 40 inches long and 20 inches deep. So when you configure them like this, you end up with a platform that's 76 inches long and 40 inches across. Perfect for a twin bed. But down the road, we can use them individually, or as a sort of system that can be configured in a few different ways for, well, I don't know, for whatever, I guess. By the way, if you missed my video on drawer boxes, check it out here. There's a link in the description. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Go for it. We'll wait. Thanks.
The last component of this build was this sort of little stage that the bed sits on. It lifts it off the ground a few inches, and you can really barely see it unless you're low to the ground. It's basically just a little frame with a few cross pieces. I made the cross pieces about a half of an inch narrower than the frame pieces. That way I could inset a sheet of half inch plywood that would come up flush with the top of the frame. I forgot to film this part, so you just have to take my word for it, I guess. And trust me, if I was gonna lie, I'd come up with something a little more impressive than a half inch sheet of plywood. I'd probably go three quarter inch, solid gold, encrusted with diamonds. Anyway, after I screwed down my three quarter inch solid gold diamond encrusted plywood, I mean, ply gold, that was it, I was done. I also didn't film myself installing the bed in the room, but the stage platform thing is also handy because this is the piece that the three individual boxes are attached to. I screwed through the inside of their bottom pieces to attach them to the stage. I didn't want to attach the boxes directly to one another because I don't know how I'm going to be using them in the future and I didn't want to have to worry about any unsightly holes down the road. So here it is, buddy, your bed. It's nothing too fancy. It's definitely no race car, but it's yours. So bounce on it, sleep in it, and dream in it. And I know you're too young to appreciate it now, but hopefully someday you can look back on this video and you will then. And to that future you, I hope all those dreams come true. Good night.